Did you have a question, sir? Okay, probably not. Anyone else with a question? Sir, this is from Mahalakshmi. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. Uh, sir, before you said, you know, sir, some quiz uh, or they, the students wants to attend that uh, uh, some, uh, some quiz and then they move on to the stage two. And which category they need to go with this? Grade three to seven or it is from high school? Grade three and four is junior category. Grade five, six, seven is intermediate. Grade eight, nine, ten is senior. There will be three categories. Okay. For that category students, they need to along with it. Uh, stage one, which is coming up next uh, in the month of June, I think so. Yeah. Yes, sir, we'll, start, yeah we'll start May 10th with stage one. Okay. Yeah. For students who are not nominated. Ah, yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for that, will they provide any practice or otherwise online meeting? Yeah, we are having a we are having a boot camp. We are having a boot camp in May and June. So you, can, you can go. Wow, not able to mute the person at all. Mm -hmm. Can you figure out where the sound's coming from? Shiram? Anji? It's not showing anywhere. Mm. Anyway, so uh, I think it's from the Vivo one. Correct, correct. We are struggling to join. Yeah. There is already three WhatsApp groups, Ramanabot WhatsApp groups. You can join those WhatsApp groups by going to ramanabot.org and there you'll find the links to join the WhatsApp groups. So 1JZZDR, uh, you may join the uh, WhatsApp group by going on the ramanavod.org website, looking through the website and you'll find the support to join the WhatsApp groups, right? So those already exist. Uh, and you can ask any type of query there. You can also always ask query on email info at ramanavod.org to get anything answered. Uh, what I realized is that I did not record uh, the initial part of the meeting so uh, hello yeah go ahead abhijit sir yeah good afternoon sir yeah so actually i want to know that uh, if we can register through one mobile number and one email id to one email id and one mobile number we can register more multiple students the teacher's number is obviously one email and one mobile but then when oh. you're filling the student details they yeah. should be they should be separate email id and separate phone number. Am I right, uh, Sridhar? Uh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the is, student it yes, is it mandatory for every, each student we have a one number and one email ID also? Yes, it's mandatory because we need to have a way to contact them, right? Um, and in case they are selected actually, for the next round. Actually, sir, uh, we have residential school so that we don't allow the mobiles to the student. So they still we cannot provide the yeah, so mobile number yet. But the parent or whatever can access, right? It can be parents' mobile and parents' email. We don't expect children from third grade and all that. In fact, it's yeah, not even it's not even legal for children below 13 to have an email ID. So we expect it to be, in any case, we expect it to be a parent's mobile and a parent's email that is used. Okay. And the because eventually the child is participating on on an individual basis on a private basis so they'll be working on their activity at home and uh, of course as you say it's a residential school so they might be doing it in school but they they'll have to have their own we have, we have all the facility to facilitate the students uh, in all aspects so we have we have, must have to try but uh, the issue is the mail id and the phone number you cannot provide 
Yeah, so that has to be unique. Otherwise, we. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of one, of one of the constraints. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? But I thought is that since I'd said that I'll record it and then I missed clicking on the record button in the beginning. So the presentation part got missed out. So I'll just quickly just uh, share my screen and go through the nomination process again. And meanwhile, if people have questions, then they can ask. So usually to register or nominate your school, of course, you'll go to the nominate.ramanaward.org website. You can type in your phone number and you'll be able to log in by using an OTP. I log in and I come to my school, which I've already registered, right? So here I have my grades and I can actually view or add nominations. So if I have to add a nomination, I'm asked to fill in the child's details here. If I want to view a nomination, then I can see a child that has already been nominated uh, by me for a particular grade, okay? So that's how the uh, nomination page works. Now, if I have to add a new school, I have to use another number, but right now I have just two phones with me. One was already used to add a number. So let me see if this works. one was just used and it may will also go to my uh, nomination dashboard. That's right. So that's how it should work because I just registered this phone. So it allows me to go straight to the dashboard. If you are using a new number, then it will go to the, can Manzoor or Sriram, would you be able to show the view for registering a new school uh, with a new number where they get the view of um, actually adding a school? Yes, yeah, so uh, both my numbers are also, also already yeah, registered. That's uh, right. Manzoor, would you uh, be able to show that view to by going to the back end or whatever? Or if you can eliminate a registration, uh, like deregister someone at the back end, then I can show it with this number again. So not my 99028 number, but the other number, 98607-10282. If you delete that registration, then I can show the registration process again. Sure, I'm just trying to uh, do that. Meanwhile, there are some questions. Uh, Amit Sharma ji, you had a, a question to ask. You've raised your hand. Amit Sharma, sir, you had a question. You've raised your hand. You may ask. Do any of the other teachers have any question? Because my thought was that people who are attending this are the ones who have not been able to nominate, uh, or maybe the ones who have not yet tried, and this gave you the confidence to go and try. Or if you had some specific question regarding the nomination process. So I do expect you to ask those here. Have there been any in the chat window?
Sri Ram, the questions that were asked on the chat window you have addressed, is it? Yeah, I, uh, there was a question regarding the WhatsApp group. Uh, and, uh, that I provided the link for them. Yeah, and initially there was a question about uh, whether this matches with what happened in February. Yeah, and I actually I didn't understand the question really. So, uh, and this is a new round of the Ramana Awards uh, with the finals that are, it's going to yeah. be held in November 2022. Uh, so it, it is not a separate event, but uh, it is the next guess, edition of the event, same event. Uh, you know, the next next edition of the same event. So this is for Piyush sir who asked a question right in the beginning in the chat window. This is part of Ramana Awards that were held in January. So the finals of Ramana Awards were held in February 2022 this year for the previous year of the year 2021. We were slightly delayed because of the pandemic. This year we have gone back to the November schedule. Can I try with that number again, Shira? Uh, but excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I, I was just trying to do sure. yeah. yeah, Harinda, ma'am. Yeah, sir, in stage one, like the kids have cleared their stage one, right? Now they will enter into stage two. Once so they finish kids, stage one, you're saying? Yeah. Uh, stage one, they have, uh, I mean, they have already given that uh, CBSC science challenge. With competition. That's got nothing to do with stage one. Uh, okay, now that the, is just the way. The Ramana Award stage one is separate. Okay. We had, yeah. So the ones who are getting nominated are going straight into stage two. The ones who don't get nominated can participate in stage one, which is Ramana Award stage one, which will open on 10th of May after the nominations are over. Sir, what is there in stage one for uh, Ramana Awards? As I explained earlier, stage one will have a predetermined activity that they have to make. Okay. They have to fill in an observation sheet that we provide and okay. they have to take a video, etc. of the pre-decided pre, uh, pre activity that we tell them to make and they have to fill a quiz about that activity. Okay. Yeah. So that is the stage one you're that talking about, one. Ramar Wad. Right. Yeah. And once they are through with the stage, then what is the next stage Sta to come up? Yeah, stage two is where they get to make up to two innovations of their own of any okay. topic in the science curriculum. Right. And they'll be answering a general class wide quiz about okay. that, be about based what on could the be anything. Okay. Which would be any topic in science based right. on their based on their age. And they have to create their own data sheet about the activities they have made. So that means the CBSC challenge that we have conducted in our school. So that is that has nothing to do with the stage one of Raman Awards. People who do the CBSE Science Challenge, if you choose to nominate, you can nominate up to five children per grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that we have done. Yeah. So no, then those that's... people have skipped stage one, effectively. So okay. They're going straight into stage two. Right? That is your predefined given activity. What? What is the stage, stage two. two for the? That is what is the stage? Okay. Those two innovations. Correct. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir, excuse me. Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Uh, sir, ma if uh, they have been nominated for CBSC Science Challenge, then are we supposed to nominate them over here again? No. As you said, what do you mean? They will, uh, they you have to nominate them on our website. That's what is meant by nominating. Okay, but yeah. then they will be going for stage two then. They then automatically get stage one. They automatically go into stage two if they get nominated. They don't have to take part. In so stage we need two. to, uh, if we are registering those uh, children which took part in CBSC Science Challenge, of so course. we need to uh, do their registrations afresh. The same students if we are uh, taking. A maximum of five children per grade. You could have had the whole school participate in science challenge. You could have 50 yes, children yes. per class. Right. But you have so to select five children, a maximum of five. If you think only one is worthy, then nominate okay. one person also. Okay. But okay. a maximum of five per grade per school is mm -hmm. allowed to go into stage two. 
Okay. Based so on according, whatever. According to your nomination and registration is the same thing over here. It is not the one that first we have to uh, register. So you have to register your school. And then. And then once you've registered your school, nominated. you're able to nominate the students. Right? Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, can you just sign now? I, think, I believe Mansoor has been able to delete. That second number, right? Okay. So if I go to a brand new number and Okay. Yeah, I'm just demonstrating this to show how one. Yeah. No, I got straight in, uh, Shivam. So, was it my number that was uh, changed or was it uh, the second number? Yeah. So, it's the number ending second in 74535. Okay, okay. So, that's my number. <laughs> that was. Uh, yeah, because I already had the admin control, so I was hoping that that's not the one that's changed. Anyway, because that had nomination and all that as well, so deleting it was a problem. Okay, so uh, the nine nine zero two eight number is your family number, which has uh, admin control is uh, support. No, no, the one nine eight six zero seven one zero two eight two should have been the one. So anyway, so, so 99028, this is now what it is. If I now search for a pin code, hopefully I'm able to see schools show up. So no school created here. So then I have to go to this and choose a board name, school affiliation number. So I'll choose my name, school name I have pro school. The street name, I'll again give the punctuality 15th cross. That's, that's a different, uh, that's, uh, let's say 15th main and give my house. Yeah. It's me and not have a another. Give my email ID. Oh, contact person name should be my name, sorry. And then that way I have registered my school. So I get a confirmation here and now when I search, I get a pro school here under the school name, so I can continue and then get to my registration dashboard. So my nomination got deleted, <laughs> but I guess that's because you guys deleted this, this number. Anyway, so uh, that's how you would do it for a new number that you have to register your school first. And then once you do that and log in, then you get this view and you can add your nominations here okay so is there any uh, other questions from anyone Uh, sir, you have said about window opens from June 15th till first, what? First stage month? two, yeah. June first 15th stage. to September 15th. 
for stage two, September 15. Okay, sir. Thank you. Anything else? Any person here who's tried the nomination and not succeeded? So, Rao, sir, now everything is fine with Shishuga, with the nomination and the... Yes, sir, um, we are going ahead with the nomination. All the tech and problems. We have a doubt about the grades that you have clarified. Okay. That you have clarified. Right. And, and the data can be updated and somebody yeah. want, doesn't want, you can delete and then... Correct, that's right. Something. So, if you saw when I had nominated that name, on the right, there's a red bus button which you can delete. So, if you put in a wrong grade or you want to change someone, you can always delete and add someone new. Yeah. It may quite happen because it's holidays. Correct. Uh, contacting people a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. If there are no further questions, then we'll uh, end the call here. Thank you for taking pains to uh, organize a meeting to clarify doubts. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank Thanks you, sir. People. Thank you so much. Thank you. I guess none of the rest of you have any questions and things are clear. Thank you. So we'll uh, meet again and hope to see your children uh, participate actively. And we'll interact further via other forums and hopefully see some of them in the finals. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. Sir, if you have any clarification. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, we need your help, sir. So always uh, give the comments in that box of this. It's very unclear. Your audio, I can't hear. Audio, sir. Thank you so much, sir. All our doubts were clear, clarified. Okay. Mm -hmm. You please send the message if it is any updated in a WhatsApp group. Sure. Yeah. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Good evening.